So just whilst Nan's away, I've decided to come in the garden, this end of the garden, because we haven't got an extension lead at the moment, and mow the lawn. God, it does make a difference, doesn't it? I can't mow the lower lawn because we haven't got an extension lead. I've also come over here, this is prepped. Uh, we're gonna chuck a load of soil and manure over the paper. I'm just getting rid of all the brambles I can see. I'm probably gonna dig that paper in first then chuck all that on top. Hopefully that'll look presentable. Uh, the weeds that I did down there, they're already come back. Do any of you know what those weeds could be? And the next big job is getting rid of the brambles. Does anyone know a sort of cast iron way to get rid of the roots of brambles? They're massive, they're like tree trunks. But look. But look. Bramble, bramble, bramble. It's all bramble. All bramble. Look at this. It grown into the feeder. So it's like day of the triffid. Trying to get this ivy. I mean this is the bed that I really want to have cleared some of this bed because then I feel like we've got that, we've got the new bed, we've got the middle bed, uh, there's this bed and then of course there's that bed over there but that requires less work because it's in the shade. Um, it's literally like cutting through the jungle. Ow! Just take that ring off. Brambles, brambles, brambles. How am I going to cut them down without lacerating my entire body? What do you think? A rose, thou art sick. What is the point of a bramble? I've always got a scramble to sort out a bramble. I never get to amble, but I like a scrambled egg. Tell you what, huh? Clearing brambles is fucking boring. I've had enough, and I've got a blister. See you later. Shoes are still where I pop, plop, plop them, pop, oh. put them. We have a shoe corner. Just, 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 just shoe down, corner. down there. So, okay, head over here, Mum. Oh. Walk this way. <laughs> Come in. Oh. Come in. What see you? Oh. What was the lawn? The lawn. Oh, you've done it. Yeah. I was going to send you a text saying, Mark, if you possibly can. Oh, Both lawns done, and I've completely cleared of brambles that bed so we can tip a load of soil on it. Oh. I'm gonna put mulch on there, suddenly it feels, and I completely, yes. well, not completely, I've got rid of loads of bramble in that. You have. I'm trying to find a space to put the uh, tree. You have. Has the, because um, I didn't look at the 10 minutes, the, the camellia. No. Oh, it's not so Is that camellia or? Yeah, camellia. yeah. look, there's a, not as oh, many because well, I've cut more off. Pardon? It's not as many flowers because I've cut more off. No, 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 but there's enough flowers. Let me turn you around and show you guys what we're talking about. Oh, you've made a huge difference to this bit here. Yeah. Where all the brambles were. It just helps, doesn't it? Oh, doesn't it? I knew cutting the lawn would be a real booster for yeah. you. But then I didn't like to say, oh, if you possibly can cut the lawn, because yeah. it seems like I was sort of giving instructions. But as you can see, that fucking weed is coming back. See it? Voraciously. I planted some things down there, but I'll take you around some of yeah, the things okay, I've done. Okay. Look, all sorts of things are coming up. Look over here. You I'm going to ask your permission if, rather than having a load of lilies up here doing nothing, if I didn't put them in my bed. Yeah. My, my yeah. bed. You need there, to dig it deep. May, may, maybe round the edge or something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Look at those pretty blue things oh, down there. Yes. Huh. They're um. We planted them, I think. No, 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 no. I can't remember, but they're sort of like a type of uh, lily. Yes, but beginning with S that I say I don't like. Salvia type, stroke mm, yeah. lily type. It's a bulb. Oh, these came out. Yeah, boring. They are a bit, aren't they? Yeah. My, my mum doesn't know what to weed, and I've just pointed out all the yeah, weeds. I do know, obviously I know what to weed, but... No, you don't, you came up to me. of opinion in what is a weed. That's what it boils down to. Well, what, what? Show the subs what that, what that is there. Well, we think these are kind of... C can you have an infestation of snowdrops? No. We seem to have one. Well, uh, all I can say is if we have them, we're very lucky creatures. Are we blessed? We're blessed. Okay, guys, let me show you this. What are these? These have come up almost like in a line. Uh, exactly, uh. which means that it's not random. 
So you've got those, and they're the same leaves as these here, which are snowdrops for mum. Come here, Mark. Let me just clarify with the subs. Clearly, I know what a weed is as a weed, but we do have a difference of opinion in terms of weed in terms of here, because that is, that is an example. Well, that's one. the only example. Well, no, no, it's not the only example, because obviously that there grass is a weed. Yeah. We've got this big sort of suddenly problem with this stripy leaf, which suddenly seems... These to be are all weeds. Yeah, no, 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 I get that. I get but that. anything that looks like a bluebell isn't a weed. No, but I think we'll still pull it up, unless it's that lot, which we're going to keep and see what happens. Oh, you're Shall not we? allowed to pull up bluebells. Then the police, bluebell police come. Probably. Have you seen how lovely the buds are on this? Aren't they? Look at that, guys. Yeah, can I just say that in terms of the subs, in terms of this plot of land? I didn't think this would amount to anything, but it really enjoys coming. The, the roses are enjoying it, aren't they? Don't you think? What's the matter? <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? The what? The roses. The what? They're enjoying coming. Have you asked them? <laughs> no, but you can see how well they're doing. Yes. I'm just going to cut off a couple of them. Oh my God, look what? at my double yeah. flowering hawthorn. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty. I was worried this wasn't going to come back. And me. Were you? I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. But the trees, i.e. that tree and that tree and that tree, are doing brilliantly. That's a lilac tree. I know. Aren't they doing brilliantly? Aren't they, Mum? Doesn't it make you think, Mark, that maybe we should plant another couple of trees here and start to make this into a tree area? But then it would be a forest. Well, you, you know, I mean... We've got to get some of those trees in somewhere. If they're doing that well, and they're partly doing that well. How many trees can you have in a small space? Well, exactly. We could have one there. No, I don't think we want it. Well, I thought you wanted to put lots of other things in it. Well, I did in the beginning, but I don't what? think the big thing, I don't think the small things are doing as well as the big things. What do you mean? You I just mean, said that the, the... Yeah, but they're <laughs> going to be eclipsed. By what? Only the trees you want to put in. Yeah, by the big trees. When the big We're trees not putting get... them in. Stop it! Mum, you, I've left you for literally half an hour and you've become confused about one type of weed that is all that needs to be dug up. All the grass needs to be dug up and all those leaves need to be dug up. The only thing that doesn't is anything that looks like a bluebell or a snowdrop. Everything Make else can come up. Very, very it's very so easy, Mum. I felt like about it's... half an hour after you'd gone, I thought I'd have had a stroke. I couldn't think of a single thing that I needed to do that was a proper thing. Well, you, I think you might still have had a stroke because you, you're struggling to get the most basic. And I was saying to Nats, have you noticed, you get your clothes on, then you've forgotten your water. So you go upstairs and get your water. <laughs> then you come back downstairs and you need an empty bottle. Of so you get your I empty do. bottle, then you put your gloves on and your scarf on, and then you need a wee. So you take your scarf off and your gloves off. Well, then you put your then you put your gloves up. down somewhere and you've forgotten where your gloves are. You're so bloody ho 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 ho. You and then you put your scarf down and then you get too cold and then you say, "Where's my stick? I need my stick because I can't walk without the stick." <sighs> Half an hour to forty-five minutes later, and you pick up the secateurs if you can find them. Yeah. And an hour later, you, you think, oh, "I'll have an oval tea or a Horlicks." <laughs> And then you ask me for a coffee and then you sit down exhausted. It is Mum, can I say there's one person doing the work in this garden? Mark, stop it. I haven't even done any sweeping. Oh, fucking hell. Mum, look. See, Mark, this look, is all of these, clear all of these off the... Off the... Mum, what do you think that is? Scotch what? mist? Mum, what is that? It's twigs. <laughs> there's more twigs Mom, over there. Mum, you've got to do more than gather twigs. <laughs> Been taking them out. I know, it's fucking insanity. <laughs> not, not. Look, look, so hang on, so you're picking up. Mum, they're all over here. It's because she's taken them over but there. But you've, you've achieved nothing. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, oh, Mum. I leave you for five minutes and you make the garden positively worse. I can, I can just see, you know, why old people have small gardens. <laughs> <laughs> this is your garden. You're struggling with this. No, I mean patio gardens that self-contained. This is, this is tiny. Can you fall onto it from other places? But Mum, it's the least weedy part of the garden. It's the one part of the garden we have the biggest chance oh, of controlling. Least weedy. So, yeah. so there you go. You yeah. Can... Have you seen the fucking nightmare I'm dealing with there? All right. Waiting, well, you... waiting for all my mulch to arrive. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Just get back behind that tree. 
I can't believe Nan's, Nan's plan for her bed, because she can't be bothered to find other stuff, is to plant loads of trees. No, I just thought it would be nice because they're doing so well. Mum, it'll end up being a wood. Yeah, but I can't work out how they... Wouldn't a silver birch overcrowd everything else and no, kill them? No, silver birch is no bigger than the water. Oh, my God. I've noticed that only two of these rhododendrons are doing better than this one at the front. It's a bit stringy, isn't it, this one? That one at the back is the this white. Is the, why is that strange? Because white ones often do less well. What a load of bunkum. It is bunkum, actually, but it's a very, very... You've just made that up. <laughs> I saw your brain make it up. What's in there, Mum? Oh, your, your, your hands are massive! <laughs> oh, um, help! You can wet yourself in a minute. No way. Mum, your hands! They're my gloves, I think! They're not! They're your gloves enormous. are all soaking fucking wet somewhere! <laughs> oh, honestly. Look, look, Mum, look. Have you seen? And have you seen the green shoots? What a shame it's so small. Have you seen the green shoots? I have. I wish it was a bit taller, don't you? No, it'll so get there. Stand look, there. look. I love the way you suddenly become the no, it'll get there type person, look, gardener. Look. Well, I. Yes, yes. I'm pleased about your lavenders because you've been on with not yeah. lavenders, lilacs. Or you've been. Been on a lilac push. Been on a lilac push. Mum. Yeah. I was in the park the other day yes. and I so, thought of you and Lizzie Yes. because it came bowling up towards me. What was it? <laughs> what was it? You're like the dog in up. Squirrel. Was it a squirrel? No. <laughs> no. What was it? It was a thrush. No. Speckledy chest. Speckledy chest. And it didn't just sit there. It... Why are we having to crouch even lower? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh. It was a thrush that walked towards me. Yeah, and it wouldn't you. stop. That's it walked into me. Lizzie, That's what that I said to Nan. I said that could be Lizzie. Yeah, it would be. You don't see thrushes there. You were honoured. That's what I said. Yeah. What does it mean to see a thrush? Well, it's very rare. Does it mean anything? But also, Mark, this does it is mean that white flowers don't flower? You're full of zim and zest. You've been in the gym, haven't you? That's my bipolars. I can tell. I know you've been in the gym. Some things, Mark. Yes, Mum. I've taken all your criticism about my yes. gardening. If you buy something like this, if you get something like this, which is in itself is a statuesque piece. Curiosity, isn't it? It has to be somewhere that shows it off. Not there, where... No, uh, I agree. Yeah, OK, OK. But do you know what it looks like? What's it look like? Chewbacca's foot. Have, have the soap seen that? Yeah, we've shown it. Yeah. Well, no green finger doll's gone out, Mum, because you're so slow. No, it's not that, Subs. Don't let him tell you that. He's had two in the pipeline for ages. Where are you going? I'm coming to get a coffee. You haven't done anything. <laughs> You've just gone over there, surveyed the land and said, don't know what a weed is, Mark. Yeah. We have a differing opinion on weeds. We do. Well, snowdrops and bluebells aren't weeds. <laughs> Oh, Mum. I don't like that laugh that you do. Giant hand. That laugh is full of... A giant hand. It's frightening, Mum. It's full of um, venom. Not you need venom. to plant those in your bed. No. Why? That's, that's what I mean. They will just get utterly lost instantly. They won't. They flower in July and August. As long as you put a marker as to where they are, what's wrong with you? That is a very odd way of gardening. Your garden's too... Um, wild for that you couldn't have done better than what you did with your very first uh gardening thing which was the aces i mean what you've done with those aces is perfect but that's what needs to happen at, on each bed what, one f type of thing in each bed one type of thing and maybe under undergrowth with something else yeah, but... these are the undergrowth in your bed mark i'm going to put them in your bed and you're going to thank me when they come through and go why don't i listen to you more mark can i have a coffee yeah
them on your hands then. How did you, you do? do the white rose? No. Yes, you did. I didn't. Where's it from? Yes. You oh, it's did. been carried out from the fake one. Oh. How God. are you doing with your little weeds? Pardon? How are you doing with the weeds? Oh, don't, isn't it a fag that my dad would have just said? Have you got any out? Oh, oh well done. I literally don't know what this stuff is. It's just like a carpet. It's got feeders under the soil. And so even the smallest leaf of it, you dig underneath it and it goes burrows far. It's like a lattice work beneath the soil. <sighs> so I've planted some of these. Helenium morphane esu, one there, one there, one there. Easily pull upable if you don't know what the hell's going on. And then I've planted some erisimum winter orchards here, ten of them. Erisimum, erisimum winter orchards. Here's my ma. Digging away. There's Toffee watching. All of that has been pulled up from here. And as you can see, look, runs all the way under there. I don't know if you remember, I cleared all of that. Lots of that is snowdrops. Look, it just spreads and spreads and spreads and spreads and spreads and spreads I literally don't know what to do about it and the size of that I literally don't know what to do about that weed guys I really need your advice the, the advice I found online is get as much up as you can and then chuck a load of mulch on which is what the plan is or do I have to go fabric like I did with the Acer bed this is the only bed that seems to be uninfected by that stuff. How's it going, Mum? You seem to be sat in a place where there's no weeds. That's because I've just taken them all up. Oh. Now, one of the things is... Are you getting under them? Well... Or are you just pulling from the top? No. Uh, let me just show you. Look, this is a flagstone. It's another flagstone path that comes down. Oh, yeah. I hadn't noticed that before right. until last time when I was it needs sweeping. It to be spaded up. And so what... What's happening is the reason the weeds the weeds are going underneath that one, right. which is why some of them are just breaking off when you try right. and get to the thing. But look, that's what I mean. I mean, you've got a whole other path there next yeah. to this one, which well, we is should, very exciting. Well, we should spade it and reveal it. I know. Don't you think? Yeah. I think any flagstone path is yeah. absolutely good. Oh yeah. But, I mean, it's all under here. Oh, yeah. Requires some hard graft, Mum. I literally don't know what to do about that weed. It's like a bindweed or something. It's just literally, as I dig it up, there's just it tendrils just going all the way along. It's got down to the other end of the bed now. I literally don't know what to do. Wow. <sighs> don't know what to say to you. <laughs> so guys, this is it. I do remember, do you remember Stephen? Yeah. Stephen mentioned yeah. something about this and he said, you've got a problem with that. Did he? Yeah. He said it spreads its roots all the way along. Oh, and at that stage, we didn't have much of it, no, did we? No, exactly. Wow. Okay, well, yeah. The part of me is just like, what the fuck do we do with this bed? We might have to not protect the thingies and just put canvas over it all. Yeah, yeah. It's the only way I can think. I mean, I know it's a pain while it's happening, but when you look at what it looks like afterwards, say, taking that bed, yeah. I mean, that bed is a... Is a well, even, I mean, weeds come up on it, but they're quickly getting... Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yours was cardboard. Yours is the safest by the looks of it. Yeah, and also, it's such rich soil. It's the, the cardboard soil that did that. Yeah, no, I'm really depressed about this, Mum. No, don't be pleased. No, I am. It's just, it's oh, like, it's like a rash that just keeps coming back worse and worse. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what to do. No, but, well... And we had cardboard on here too, so that hasn't worked. Say again. We used cardboard on here as well. Yeah, but only right at the end of the season, didn't we? Yeah. I literally don't know. What, guys, what do we do? Is it canvas? Is it mulch? Or do I just keep weeding? I mean, for the rest of my life. Is there a pesticide that we can use? No. Why? No, I don't know. But I don't know. There are flat leaves herbicides. Take a picture of it. That's a good example. 
planted the foxgloves. Three foxgloves there. Peonies are coming through. Yeah, now I see that. Hollyhocks might come back there. <sighs> Look at my bed from here. It's, it's perfect. perfect. Yeah. yeah. So we've discovered that it's ground elder, ground as in on the ground elder. They say the Royal Horticultural Society says it takes patience and several years to get rid of it. And one of the ways to get rid of it is black polythene sheets. I kid you not, black polythene sheets. So a little bit like the Acer bed, we're going to have to get some, pin it down across there, across the bed, cut out holes for the, for the plants that are already there and put soil over the top so it's not ugly. Oh, what a headache, an absolutely enormous headache. On the, on the lawn, though, repeated lawn mowing can sort of starve it and kill it and stop it in its tracks. So, what a pain. So, Mum, yeah. in front of your mustard, do you concur? What is it? I concur. It's ground elder, yeah. and it's, let me just read you this, so I'm sure you know this already. Ground elder is a prolific, persistent and fast-growing perennial weed. It spreads easily thanks to its thin and wiry rhizomes, which regenerate quickly from tiny fragments. Ground elder roots. is found throughout gardens, from flower beds to cracks in pavement and lawns. I wonder if you can put soil on top of the black plastic sheets. Spread easy, so controlling it can be a laborious task. Really, <laughs> I found that out. We've identified it, and the best methods of controlling this common weed. <laughs> it's really depressing, and it's starting down there. So I'm going to have to. I've ordered some uh, latex, not latex, Lantex, Lantex, Convitex. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to lay it across there, down there, going that way. Maybe avoid my poppies. I'm gonna have to do what I did here, basically. And although there are weeds coming through there, they're very shallow rooted. Pain in the arse. Absolute pain in the arse. It's a fucking disaster. That's what it is. It is really, really horrible stuff. I'm sure out there you know it. And one of the problems we've got is that whilst, yes, we can go for like sheets on there, yeah. you know, fibrous sheets, yeah. staked in at the edges of the beds, but it's yeah. starting to pop up down here. Yeah, yeah. And it's like you start to pull it out and you can feel its tendrils. It just reaches far and wide. So far, yeah, yeah. Oh, mum. Oh, Mark. What a day. What a day, Mark. What are we going to do? Well, we're just doing what we're doing. I mean, I... So I think where we, where there isn't, where it isn't like a huge rash, we just have to, whenever we come out, target yes. it. Yes. And constantly get it, which we can, so if you concentrate on this part, yeah. and I'm going to blast that with black tarpaulin. I mean, to be honest, part of the reason that we can see this so well is because I moved all those twigs. Yeah, I mean, true. They were sort of so thick, yeah. you couldn't see what was going no. on underneath. So it probably got quite a lot. It's so voracious. Look, I'm just going to sub. I'm just going to show you this, which I cleared out a couple of weeks ago. It's all down there. Say again. It's all down there. Look down by. Yeah. No, it just looked while you were you were away. And that's not something I know. A lot of you say just get a gardener. That's not something the gardener could. Do. I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna steamroller that bed, regardless of what Eddie thinks, because it's the only way to make it look good for future years, so that it ends up like the Acer bed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because that's the only bed that's successfully kind of controlled. Which the Acer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a bit ironic that, isn't it? That you with no gardening experience at all. I know. It had found the, the solution. You did. And as it turns out, well, what was the other thing that we got infested with? That we, there was another thing. I don't know. Do you remember? No. It spread across the lawn, it did. Did it? Oh yeah. yeah, no, that was that tree. Yeah. Yeah, a spiky tree. Yeah. And I mean, know what's going on, Mark. Exactly. And I mean, that started to put up tendrils in yeah, various did. places, With didn't thorns it? on it. But if that's anything to go by, that stopped doing that, didn't it? So That's because we keep lawn mowing. Whenever you lawn mow, it gets rid of it. Yeah. And also, subs, what's... Because I was very sort of thinking, oh, my God, while well, Mark was getting kicking. 
But then I thought, well, as long as we keep doing that, it's going to get weaker and weaker. So exactly. there is hope at the end. Well, definitely we can control this bit. And as long as I, yeah. I, I literally am almost impatient. I want the tarpaulin to be in now because I want to kill it now. <laughs> well, it probably will come. I want to kill it now, Mum. I know what you mean. I want to kill it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, Mum. I don't Mom. like it. I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit scared. Are you? And it's called an elder. Mm, ground elder. Ground elder. Oh. I've heard of it over the years and never known what it really meant. I wish you'd known. You could have told me. Oh.